God is faithful. God's word is our strength. God forgives. God is help. Jesus is king. God restores relationship. God is love. Jesus is compassionate. God is near. Jesus restores. Jesus is life. God's spirit changes everything. This changes everything. Hey kids! Oh, I'm so excited to see you here this morning. We are excited about what today's lesson is going to be. In fact, I have a question for you. Are you ready? If you could meet any famous person, who would it be? So let's think about that for a second. Who would that famous person be? Do you have an answer? Okay, I want to hear it on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow! Those are some great answers. I know there's a lot of famous people I would like to meet. And that tells us, gives us a hint of what we're talking about today. We're talking about a man who in his day was really famous. His name was Nicodemus. And we're gonna be learning all about him today. But before we do that, everybody stand up and let's worship. We've got a battle to fight. God is on our side. We've got a world to reach Your spirit lives in me We've got a need to fill We know it's your will For the world to see That you set them free You can count on me You can count on me Yeah. 
It's game time, and today's game is called Guess This Slow-Mo. For this game, we're going to show you a video clip of someone smashing something with a sledgehammer. But we're going to play that clip backwards, and your job is to figure out what the item is. So, make sure as soon as you know what the item is, you pause the video and make a note of the number. That will be your score. You'll add those scores up throughout the rounds and then find a total at the end and leave that total in the comments. Are you ready? Let's go! It's a piggy bank. Did you get it? Great job. Hey, let's do another one. It was a watermelon. Did you get it? Great job. Let's do another one. Are you ready? Let's go. It was a plant in a vase. Did you manage to get that one? Great job. Add up all of your points and leave a comment to let us know how well you did. Oh my goodness, I do not like the dark. The dark is a little scary, but that's okay because if you want to hide something, you don't put something you're trying to hide under a lamp, do you? Nope. You put it in the dark. And, well, sometimes we try to hide sin in the dark too, but the fact of the matter is, is God sees everything. He sees all of our hearts. He sees all the things we do. He even sees all the things we think. Man, if he sees everything, he must not love me too much. But actually, today we're talking about how God is love. And even though all those things are true and He sees all the things about our lives, God is love and He loves us unconditionally. In fact, He loves us so much that He sent His Son to die for us. Even though He could see all of those things, He sent His Son to die for me and to die for you so that He could be with us. Wow, that is love. God is love. Hey kids, today we've got a new Remember Verse, and we're going to learn that Remember Verse by using a puzzle. In fact, it's kind of a tricky one, so I want to give you a couple of moments to see if you think you can figure out what this verse is. If you can't, maybe you can look it up in your Bible. It's Psalms 145 verse 8. Pause this video and try and see if you can figure out the puzzle. Let's go through and explain the Remember Verse puzzle. In the first image, you can see the arrow is pointing to the word next to it. L and D is on the side, but in the middle you see a paddle for a boat. This paddle is also called an oar. So you have Lord. So the first two words are the Lord. The next word is an S, and that stands for is. The one following that is a difficult one. It begins with a G and ends with C-S. Well, what's that picture in the middle? 
that picture is a ray gun. So God is, or the Lord is, gracious. The Lord is gracious and this one's a tough one. Let's look at those pictures. There's a comb. There's a football player passing the ball. There's a leg pointing at the lower leg, which is the shin. So that says comb, pass, shin, eight. What word is that like? The Lord is gracious and compassionate. This next picture is of a snail. And a snail is slow. So the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger. This one shows two money bags. The letter in and a heart to stand for love. So we've got the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Let's say that with me. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Psalm 145 verse 8. Great job kids. Let's see if we can learn that over the next few weeks. Today's Big God story, it contains this very special verse. In fact, it's a verse in scripture that's quoted more than any other verse. Wow. And that verse is found in the book of John. John chapter 3. See, Jesus, just like every other week, we're talking about the, the story of Jesus. And Jesus is approached by this man in the cover of darkness. This man called Nicodemus. See, Nicodemus, he's a Pharisee. He's a teacher of the religious people. He's a, he's a teacher over Israel. Someone that is highly respected and looked up to. And Nicodemus sees something special in Jesus. But Nicodemus' friends, the other Pharisees, uh, publicly they've not been very nice to Jesus. They don't really support him or follow him. And so Nicodemus approaches Jesus under the cover of darkness. And he finds himself one-on-one -on -one in the place with Jesus. And as he gets in there, he begins to say to Jesus, Jesus, there's something special about you. He says, I know that you are sent from God because you do signs and wonders that only someone sent from God could do. Wow. And so Jesus responds and says this crazy random sentence. He doesn't respond to Nicodemus and say, oh, thanks, Nicodemus. That's really nice of you to say. Jesus says, very truly, I tell you, only those who are born again can come to the kingdom of God. Ooh. Only those who are born again? Nicodemus is confused. He doesn't understand. He thinks different things, but Jesus kind of reinforces. He says, hey, the only way to follow me and to follow God is if you have a new life with me. Basically, he's saying, be born again. Leave your old life behind and choose to live a new life with me. Jesus said these things and it was confusing to Nicodemus. Nicodemus had been told that the, the way to grow closer to God was through sacrifices. But Jesus was coming to give a new way. And we see later in the passage, Jesus begins to unfold this scripture that we all know so well. John 3, 16. This passage that we quote over and over again. And for Nicodemus, this was so, so important. This passage is, for God... So love the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world. God is love. That's what we see. See, God didn't send Jesus in the world to persecute the world or to condemn the world, but to save the world. God came to save you and me. Jesus came on the earth to save you and me. That was the message that Jesus felt was so important for Nicodemus and for us today. Think about that question. Do you know that God loves you? Like, do you really know that God 
cares for you, that his love is for you. Take a moment to consider that. Think about God's love for you, how it's personal. Yes, God loves the world, but he also loves you. Let me speak this blessing over it. May you always remember that God loves you and nothing can separate you from his love.